good morning to all today our topic is on electrolux refrigeration system this system is also called as three fluid refrigeration system that is in this system we are using three fluids that is one ammonia water and hydrogen ammonia is used as a refrigerant and its water is used as a absorbent hydrogen the main function of hydrogen is creating the low pressure in the evaporator and promote the evaporation of ammonia that is the main function of hydrogen so in the last class we discussed vapor absorption refrigeration system and vapor compression refrigeration system in case of the vapor compression refrigeration system there is four main components compressor condenser and expansion valve evaporator in this system the compressor main function is to create the low pressure and sucking the refrigerant from the evaporator and compress that refrigerant raise the pressure and send to the condenser so this compressor it sucks the refrigerant from the evaporator and raise the pressure that raised refrigerant is sends to the condenser that is the main function of the compressor so in case of uh, vapor absorption refrigeration system that uh, sucking is the sucking is done by the absorbent in case of the vapor absorption refrigeration system in this vapor absorption refrigeration system the vapor ammonia is absorbed sucked by the absorbent that is water this water is converted into strong solution that strong solution is pumped to the generator by pump this pump this pump this sucking is generated by the absorbent and thus that strong solution is pumped to the generator with the help of the pump but in case of leak electrolux refrigeration system there is no that uh, centrifugal pump even that uh, reciprocating pump that uh, pump there is no pump there is no moving parts in case of the electrolux refrigeration system there is no pump so here the suction is created and created in the low pressure with the help of this uh, hydrogen hydrogen so that uh, pumping of that lithium bromide pumping of that uh, strong solution to the generator with the help of the position of the absorber and generator uh, level due to the gravity it goes to the generator due to the gravity it goes to the generator the mean due to the position of absorber and generator so without using this centrifugal pump without using the pump the refrigerant the strong solution is go to the generator and weak solution is comes to the absorber and create the low pressure with the help of the hydrogen so here in this electrolux refrigeration system the main components are condenser u trap the u trap main function is only sends the ammonia refri- sorry uh, the, the u trap main function it is a one way valve one way type of the the refri- liquid refrigerant comes to the evaporator but there is no gases goes to the uh, no gases that is uh, even no gases like hydrogen ammonia vapor not allow the not allow to the condenser that is the main function of u trap evaporator we know already evaporator main function is to absorb the heat from the substances so absorbent so absorbent main function is it stores the liquid ammonia that is weak solution and that weak solution that weak solution absorbs the vapor ammonia that is converted into strong solution that is stored at bottom the weak solution is placed uh, at uh, upper position so next that is this is the heat exchanger here they exchange the heat from strong solution uh, weak solution to strong solution the burner so this is the generator 
to supply the heat to the generator the generator generates the generating the pressure and temperature due to the high temperature and pressure the vapor ammonia separated from the water that goes to the condenser through the water separator so any water particles in the ammonia that is separated with the help of the water separator so only ammonia goes to the condenser once again i will explain everything so this main parts are condenser you trap evaporator absorber heat exchanger and generator water separator water separator in this uh, electrolytic refrigeration system the main some some more components are that is water component and u trap so this hydrogen line so hydrogen line so the water separator main function is to separate the water particles from the what vapor ammonia vapor ammonia so that is the water is collected from the vapor ammonia it is water separator only vapor ammonia goes to the condenser in this condenser vapor ammonia it converted it reject the latent heat to the surrounding and converted into converted into uh, liquid ammonia liquid ammonia at condenser pressure the before entering into the condenser and after exit of the condenser the liquid liquid ammonia is same we before entering into the condenser is vapor ammonia exit of the condenser is liquid ammonia the inlet and outlet the pressure is same same pressure it is uh, entering into the evaporator through u trap so only liquid goes to this direction so any gases or liquid goes to the condenser is not allow this with help of the u trap so the uh, entering in the ammonia with condenser pressure whenever it entering into the evaporator here the hydrogen is gas is placed in this evaporator due to that hydrogen gases the ammonia pressure suddenly drops suddenly drops from high pressure to condenser pressure to evaporator pressure due to the dalton's pressures law dalton's pressures law so due to that low pressure here the ammonia evaporate absorbs the heat from the surrounding of the evaporator so that evaporator so the liquid ammonia is converted into vapor ammonia that vapor ammonia is absorbed by the absorber that is the water the weak solution the weak solution absorbs the vapor ammonia it is converted to strong solution strong solution so strong solution the hydrogen is circulated from absorber to evaporator absorber to evaporated so this is placed in only low side low pressure side only so this strong solution is goes to the generator with help of the Uh, through the heat exchanger through the heat exchanger while going to generator uh, going to generator it absorbs the heat from the weak solution and goes to the generator goes to the generator before entering into the generator so with help of this uh, burner so it absorbs some heat and uh, here absorbs the heat from the source and raise the pressure raise the temperature due to rise in pressure and temperature the water and vapor water and water and vapor ammonia separates this vapor ammonia again goes to the condenser through the water separator any water particles in the vapor ammonia is separated through the help of the water separator that um, vapor ammonia go entering into the condenser with generator pressure the generator pressure exit pressure and condenser pressure is same in this condenser it converted into vapor ammonia into liquid ammonia that liquid ammonia again entering into the operator the cycle repeats so here the ammonia is separated from the uh, rich mixture then it is converted to lean mixture the lean mixture again goes to the absorber absorber through the heat exchanger so this motion of this weak weak mixture and lean weak mixture and rich mixture just due to the position of absorber and absorber and generator so in this electrolytic refrigeration system there is no moving parts 
so there is no noise so there is no friction so due to that the life is more compared to the <coughs> vapor absorption refrigeration system so this is also called as three fluid refrigeration ref refrigeration system okay thank you